Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to your favorite time time of the day. That's very presumptuous. Maybe accurate, but I doubt it. It's my favorite time of the day though, because it's the time of day I get to play Dicey Dungeons. Hell freaking yes, let's play the warrior. We're gonna be doing our first challenge or uh, episode that's not the base one. We're getting into the territory where, the territory, Terry Cavanaugh Tory, where we potentially, we might actually lose. I, you know, it could definitely happen. So let's try the Curse of Greed here first. You got two battle axes and all your equipment is upgraded. Awesome. Also, you're extremely cursed. So basically we start with two, you can see in the bottom right there. Start with two upgrade battle axes. All equipment you find is upgraded, inflicted with curse at the beginning of every turn. So there's definitely a, there's definitely some strategy that we are gonna have to employ here to work around the curse. And thankfully, I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna try to tackle. It's time for another episode of Dicey Dungeons with our feisty little fight of the warrior. Hey, Lady Luck, I'm doing great, aren't I? You sure are. If I keep this up, I'll have that monster truck in no time. So determined, and I think you may be right. You will have that monster truck in no time. Oh, yeah, wait, what? It's a double meaning, you see. No time can also mean never. You don't have to explain the joke, Lady Luck. Please don't tell me I need to make this any clear. Wait, but I'm doing great, you just said. Of course I did, and of course none of us have any reason to believe that my show isn't completely fair. So in you go for another round. All right, so we start with two battle axes. Upgraded battle axes. So you put in a four, it does eight damage. Put in a three, it does six damage. However, we are also cursed, so I believe it's only one curse too. I, I'm not sure. It might be infinite curse. Just one curse. It's just one curse. Who cares, right? This is gonna be annoying. It's gonna be annoying, but it's like, here's the thing. So we've, if we, since we only have one curse, we just gotta get a lot of equipment that's all generally pretty good. We can do better than that. Good deal, good deal. Just a lot of, a lot of small slot equipment that's generally pretty good is, is basically going to be the main idea here. Claw, okay. Claw is quite good. Max five, if we roll a five, that gives us some to use with that. Do blank damage, add one poison. No problems with that. Poison is quite good. There's a lot of enemies that are resistant to it, which can be a problem, but, uh, oh, yeah, I kinda had a feeling. That's fine. I ain't mad. The thing is, he's n there's no way this sucker's gonna kill us. No way. No freaking way. So we also have Fury, which I believe it functions as normal. Different episodes do change your, uh, whatever, your limit break, whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, pirate or the squid? Let's go with the pirate. I always, you know, generally it's a good rule of thumb to go the way that's going to unlock your, your apple. This is, these are some bad rolls. All right, fingers crossed here. Oh, well, we still get to keep our fury. Bow, bow, and then we put the one in here. It does one and one poison. You know, we can't really complain about doing 14 damage this early on. And I can't really complain about that. Him getting two sixes, it's hardly a benefit for him. Okay. Fingers crossed. Come on, something better than that. Give me it. There we go, please. Hell yeah, we're getting kind of lucky here today. Kind of lucky. Got the apple, we don't need it right now. I'd say... I like equipment. I like getting equipment. Oh my god, he's adorable. Freaking adorable. All right, give me something better. It's, you know, it's something better. 10 damage, it's okay for this early on. Like, compare, it to, compare and contrast it to a normal run where we would probably only have two attacks right now. I probably couldn't do that. Oh, come on. We can't do anything with that. <laughs> okay. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, la, 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 la. Might as well try to get a four. Because we could get lethal. Because we, we're going to have lethal next turn anyways. Like, basically, almost no matter what we do. Unless our odd, like, our, uh, our rolls are the worst thing you've seen in your dang life. I don't know what it is. Yep. 
Take a chance, take a chance. Okay, so now, boomerang. Two times the damage to the enemy, but three yourself or the spike shield. I'm gonna go with boomerang just because it's a small slot item, and I, you know, you don't want to be in a situation where you bump actually will be really nice too. Also, upgrade boomerang is really good because, you know, you only have to take three damage. Obviously, I'm only gonna want to put six in, sixes in there, but you know what? We don't have anything to do with our sixes otherwise, and that's kind of like base rule. Rito, what are some tips and tricks for Dicey Dungeon? Just like, look at your build and think about every single number you could roll and think about what you would do with each one. There we were obviously sitting with something where it's like, we have nothing to do with sixes. I don't want anything to do with the six. That's not true. But, uh, so now, we know what to do with the six, we put it in a boomerang. We have so many options right now, it's crazy. I knew that was gonna happen, but I hope it did. I was hoping it didn't so we could get Fury. Just so many darn options, and we get to do a whopping 16 damage there. Not all of the challenges are harder than the base base run, in my opinion. At least if, you know, I only played the alpha. But from what I played, that was relatively... That held up relatively well. Okay, give me something that can... Okay, so no matter what, we got in there. Got her! But yeah, the uh, as far as I can tell, a lot of the things are close, close to where they were in the alpha. And some of them were not easier, and some of them were not harder. Roll to ones, shocks the enemy reusable. Add three to shield reusable. Add up to three to shield. Something tells me we should have a safety net. We have a lot of damage right now, kind of like by design, you know? But it is a good idea to have a little bit of you know, flexibility. Okay, so we want to do as much damage. I mean, shocker. We want to do as much damage as we can right now. Like, before anything. At least, oh, I knew it was going to happen. But you know what that means? Boom. Boom. It's fine. Because that is a dead cactus right there before he did anything. We took six damage, that's fine, you know? That's an apple. An apple that I could get, or I could just wait. I think I'll just wait. So this right here is a blueprint that allows us to literally just copy one of our items. Weirdly enough, I have no idea what I would want to copy. I'm pretty pleased with our build. Roll to sixes could be kind of interesting. Double poison? Could be... Kind of, sort of, maybe, kind of, sort of, maybe, interesting. I'm gonna buy this just because I'm like, I want something. I want to buy something. I don't know. I got a cash burning a hole in my pocket. I do like bump, but it, you know, it can go away. Bump can go away. Midnight charm gives us. What do we? What do we want two sixes for? We would have to get an upgraded boomerang. We could do an upgraded boomerang copy, and then we could. Yeah, that's that was maybe a mistake. What do I want two sixes for? So, Rito, you want some tips and trips, tricks for uh, Dice Dungeons? Gotta look at your build and figure out what to do with all the dice and make sure they all have a place. Alright, well, well, we'll keep it in mind. We'll keep it in mind. Generally, I find that that thing can go, like, really, really well. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm actually gonna re-roll that. Because we can bump... How the hell did we not get a curse? I was gonna say, if we went through all of that and never got cursed, that'd be crazy. Here is a wallopin. It doesn't matter too much. We are gonna be completely fine. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna get full health back after this. So, might as well just do that. All right. And we get to save our fury. I wasn't always sneezy, you know? I'm just allergic to dungeons. Who hired this man? Why did, why did they do that to this poor creature? I love how in this game, like, you're not, like, it doesn't feel like you're killing them or anything, you know? Once per battle. This on this mode seems like it could be a really big bummer, you know? Like, you just, you you do it, and then you 
it gets cursed and you just don't even get to do that once? That seems like a nightmare scenario. Ay, ay, ay. I just, I'm not gonna leave the blueprint without doing something. Battle axe is an interesting idea. Having three would be kind of interesting. But all in all, I'm like kind I'm just completely fine with what we have already. There's something to be said. Maybe we could Is there anything that really good with sixes? Ay ay ay. Cuz I'm thinking right now Oh, we can't copy stuff from our backpack. I'm going to copy Midnight Charm just because I'm I don't really need a copy of anything else. And maybe we'll get a build where we need a lot of sixes. And that could be a really interesting option to have just in our back pocket for later. So Copycat copies everything we've got, except he does not have the penalty of, uh, of the curse. So he, this is going to be really challenging. He's going to have all of our upgraded abilities without the penalty. So we're going to have to get relatively lucky. All right. All right, baby. It's okay, I expected that. But it's out of the way, we know it. I'm so dumb. I forgot our fury didn't go away. But you know, what the hell? Wait. Huh. Come on, give me like a... Alright, that was silly. We probably have lethal next turn anyways, so we should go for shield, but I'm... Ooh! Ooh, he doesn't get the reroll, though! So what is he gonna do with? He's gonna... Claw, I mean, that hurts. And then the boomerang, that hurts a lot. Oh, that's actually... Ooh! Ooh, mama, I don't like that! Okay, I was kind of expecting that to fizzle. Uh-oh. <laughs> that could have been bad. All right, it's a good thing we have a lot of apples on the ground. But yeah, Copycat, he literally copies your whole build. So the fact that we are super strong is a problem. Wait. Wait, what? Are we going to do it again? I don't feel like that was on purpose. I don't think you meant to give this to me, but I'll take it. I'll tell you what. Sure. I'll do another boomerang just for you then. Weird, weird, weird. Why did we get to do it twice? I feel like it's it might have been a might have been a bug, but I'm really happy about it. Okay, so uh, we don't really need claw. We could go for a crystal sword for this guy right here. Actually, let's just try out the crystal sword against Aurora too. Why the hell not, man? Why the hell not? Saw that coming. Give me a five. Give me a five. I hazard to mess with anything more with than that. Let's just do 24 clean damage right there. And another 6 clean damage right there. Dead next turn. The poor girl only gets to do 4 damage to me. Shock and curse is very frustrating to get. But the good news is it doesn't really matter. Because we're good. Poor girl. Level up in seven. Seven out the way. All right, might as well. Hot jar, hell yeah. Well, actually, we can take off the target shield. I guess I could do another boomerang. Here, wait. Here's the thing. We could put a six. Okay, this is stupid. But we could put a six in here and get two dice, so we could reroll both of them. Or we could bump him. All I know is he only does poison damage and shield is literally useless. So I guess I'll put in a boomerang. Just for like, just for safety, good measure, whatever. Since it's the other move is literally useless, why have it? All right. It's gonna work. It did. Okay. Done better. Nope. Curse is fine by me. Okay. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have said. Wow. It's just that easy. 
It's just that easy. Turn one kill. Hello. Hammer. Do blank damage on a six. Inflict a shock. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Do we want a shield? Who are we fighting? It doesn't matter. We have so much health. We just... We, we're so well equipped for this fight that it just doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Okay. Kind of want to... Do that. I, I want to take damage. What can I say? Is that I that was very unexpected for that to go that well. Okay. Did not expect that, but we got lethal next turn already. Like basically guaranteed. We do have two curses now. I don't like that. Yeah, we got two curses. Okay, well maybe we don't have lethal. Think this things could go awry. Yep. I mean that's not good. Oh no. It doesn't fix it. No. Oh. Shoot. Doesn't fix it. Well, for good measure. I mean, we'll just do that. I. Sure. Girl, this is outrageous. I was sleepeth below the upper deep, and you woke me up for this. We've all been there. We've all been there. Do blank damage on the six. You can reuse this. Hey, oh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, gang. It's huge, though. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's like a problem, though. See, like, this is the perfect scenario for it. Right there. But it takes up four slots. Oh, could roll two sixes. We could have four sixes. We could do 12, 24 damage. 24 damage. That's if no curse actually happened. Let's just keep it in our backpack and think, you know? No. We'll just keep it in our backpack. Keep it in mind. Banshee! I hate the Banshee. Might have been changed, though. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Let's just do this. Copy another... Yep, yep. Please. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, I kind of figured. Okay. Should have just bumped it twice. What was I thinking there? Basically lethal. Okay, so we got silenced. Thankfully, we don't get the extra curse, so that helps. You know. Whatever. Whatever is kind of where I'm at with that one. That could have been way, way worse. Oh, that just worked. Good. I was fully expecting that to be cursed. Just worked. Okay, so we can... Uh, 13. We have no way to heal ourselves. These are dead in 13, so we could just, just use the apple then you ding dong. Wicker man, do we have any fire? <laughs> we could have if we would have traded the other thing, but... Uh, oh, whoops. Good deal. We'll get him. Bring it on. Bring it on, baby. So, oh, give me something there. Uh, yeah, I like it. We can't boomerang into fury, which is a very, very fun thing to do. Okay, I just didn't expect that to work either. Why do I? I'm like not expecting any of these things to actually pay off. There we go. Please. Oh. Nice. 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 There we go. So, he's gonna go all in the staff. I, you know, more power to you, stinker, I guess. Yeah. That's expected. Expected Patronum. Get out of here, Wicker Main. Not a problem. Okay, so now our poison I you know it could be good but we don't have any poison oh oh come on you know you 
You know what this is making me want to do! You know what this is making me want to do. Are we gonna finally do it? We're gonna finally- let's do it against this sucker. Alright, Minute Charm. Oh my god, what a mess. Hold on. Oh my god, I have too much equipment. Pirate Hook! Midnight Charm, Midnight Charm, Midnight Charm. Here's the thing. What if it gets cursed? We'd have to get it cursed wrong. Like, we need something that can bait out a curse. How about Bump? Bump can bait out a curse pretty well. Okay, and we're gonna fight against Crystalia. This could, this could be a very huge backfire. Trying to bait out the curse a little bit here. Okay, good. So now look at this. Ba boom. That's a lot of damage. And it's not hard to do. Okay, so we're gonna get a whopping no damage done to us. Bait it out. Bait it out. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a five. I mean, I don't need this. It's fine. Wow. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Boom, boom, boom. I like this build. It is wacky as hell. Oh my god. What's wrong with me? In the event that every single Midnight Charm does not get cursed, this is going to be insane. Okay, there's that. That first one. Give me something better than that. Give me something better. Than that. Come on, give me a five. Give me a five or six. Wow. I mean, it doesn't matter. Because look at that. Just like that, that's... A very, very easy 27 damage. Something like that. Okay, he's gonna get one rat off. Let's see if he gets another. He will not. Hate to say it, buddy, but you're... I think you're dead here. Uh-oh. Okay. See, we, we almost got egg upon our face there. That's like the weird, unlikely scenario. The statistics... Statistically, it's just very unlikely to happen, but hell, it can. Just, who cares? Buy stuff. Can't take it with you, baby. All right, who do we got? Oh. Drake, of course we do. Of course. The only one that you do need to change your build, otherwise you literally can't win. Okay. So he does poison, so shield is like, nah, yeah, not that big of a deal. But he does some direct damage. All in all, I'm not, not too worried. Pirate's life for me though, baby. No, we can't. You, you can leave the fight. You can, it's possible. Fine. I'm a sucker. What can I say? I want to see the big, big. If this is the end of me, this is a, this is gonna suck. It's just, it's such a cool little build. Oops. I'm 476 years old. It's entirely beneath my dignity, but I guess let's get it over with. All right. Well, we got a lot of dice. Okay. Well, at least we got that out of the way right away. Trying to get another six, because I might as well. Okay, so that's going to go there. Badoof. And I think we, we could have lethal next turn, especially if we... Oh, no, he's going to heal up for four. We're not going to get the smog cloud, which is very annoying. Okay, you know, that's fine. I, like, I don't mind getting it out of the way, like, literally right away. Not that big of a deal to me. Oh, got lucky there. He's gonna heal up for four. We are gonna get the smog. 
So it might be kind of annoying this turn, but we will next turn have our Fury, and we won't be blind. Okay. We'll just do this. It doesn't really matter, you know? All right. No idea what numbers these are, and we're good, right? Hey, that's a dead vampire right there, and a very easy, clean win with a pirate's life for me. Well, here we are again. Uh, let's try the exact same thing we've been doing for ages and see if the results are different this time. Oof, no, sorry. But maybe if you try it another five or ten times. Aww. Oh, we got three challenges. Defeat an enemy on your first turn and complete any six episodes. Complete the episode name Curse of Greed. Collect. I like this. I, lo I love when games have the little achievement, be like showcase room, have like enemies that you unlock or little trophies or something. It just makes it a little bit more fun, you know? All right. So we did it. There you go. Curse of Greed done. One win, zero losses. We don't have a loss so far, and I'm happy about that. Let's see how long we can keep that, that sucker up. I wonder why we can't uh, hover over them now. But anyway, we got that out of the way. Obviously, next time we are going to be going to the Thief. I'm just that kind of guy. I go sequential. I go sequential. We'll switch it up as we eventually you know, start to lose some. We'll switch it up. We'll go back and forth. But we're going to do the Thief's second episode next time, and then the Robot's second episode, Inventor, and then to the Witch again. Unless we unlock this, I don't know. I don't know the method. The, the, this character was just unlocked in the alpha. It was just he was just, they were just out. You know, they were just a part of the game. So I'm not sure what the method is in this game now in the full release. So it'll be exciting to see that happen. We'll obviously play that whenever it's unlocked. But that's gonna do it for today. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do. Every single day there's dicey dungeon content. In fact, you can check out my channel for my other stuff. There's daily roguelike content and more. And you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Retromation to catch me streaming games live. And let me know if you want to see Dicey Dungeons live style. Because it, it pretty soon, like, my only reason against it before was the fact that we I would play on the this save file. There's not more than one. And I wouldn't want to be playing episodes that we haven't already done. But once we get a, you know, a backlog of some of these episodes already done, who cares is where I'm at. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, thank you. And join the Discord, too. We'll link in the description if you want to talk about my channel, talk about Dicey Dungeons, share tips and tricks, learn about the game. Pop on in there as well. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.